It's from a lot of unnamed people. It's going to be on a compilation CD and tribute to Sakia Gun. Uh, does everybody know about Sakia Gun? Maybe. Uh, she's, a, okay. she's a 15 year old girl uh, who was murdered in New Jersey um, by a grown man. She was waiting on a bus and he came along and started harassing her and her friends. And she stood up for herself and uh, he gave us to her and killed her, ultimately. Um, 15 year old. So uh, uh, this is for him, essentially. And uh, I'll go to eight seconds. What if every time some idiot opens his feeble minded mouth and says, Shut up, fag? I had him from nowhere, cocked back and fed him. Hit him so hard he'd enter heaven and then leave. What if every time you said, Yo, kid, that's so gay, I slit your throat from ear to ear and ruin your mama's day? Cause see, that's what you do to us. That's how we live each day. That's how you view us attacking people because they're gay. And it comes in the slightest ways, man. It comes in whispers subtle. But my eardrums absorb every word you utter. You say it with a smile, the realization of dismay, and follow some lame ass yo. I'm just kidding. My best friend's cousin's husband's sister's dad is gay. But what if I quit tolerating your ignorant, hateful views, unleashed a lifetime of anger and took it all out on you? What if I moved a nation of dykes and fags and queers? For every attack and call to arms, we bash the bashers back. What if? What if? What if I ate my Wheaties and worked out every day And started bashing people that I didn't think were gay? What if I bashed your family, man? What could you even do? And sit around and hate me like I'm beginning to hate you And this hatred runs real deep, there's toxic fear and mine's born weak I'm tired of watching my back, I think it's time that you watch yours So this is an open message to gay bashers and closet doors I am not some abomination, I am not less than you So you better lock your doors at night cause I'm beginning to move through I've tried to explain it, I've tried to make you see That I am you and you and me, we just love it for me but you didn't want to hear it. You didn't really care. So now I'll have to show you how it feels to be real scared, to wonder if it'll happen, and when and how and why, and who will tell your parents, and how long will they cry, will they stand at your funeral, mourning in silent prayer, when suddenly there's protesters and the cameras are there, saying they never should have had you. You never should have been born. The whole quotes up in their Bible, saying you were wrong, that you got what was coming, and you brought on yourself, man. I gotta bring this home back down, and it's not good for my health. But what I'm really saying, what I'm trying to do is stop all this nonsense that you're putting children through. One in three statistics say are a suicide of a child born gay. Their blood is on your hands now. You're responsible for what you say. You're responsible for what you do. Because even if they kill themselves, it was you that killed them too.